What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video on Cook With E. And as you can see, I'm on vacation this week in Maine. We've got the lake behind me, so we're gonna be cooking up some fun things this week and should have some interesting videos coming out over the next few weeks. Um, for this first video, I'm gonna be covering an introduction to oysters. I know oysters is something that maybe not, not a lot of people like or maybe have never tried to make themselves, never tried to shuck them themselves. So first, we're gonna go into how to actually shuck them, you know, what's the knife that you use. And then second, we're gonna prepare a grilled oyster, which in my opinion is one of the best ways to introduce someone to oysters. And they're super flavorful and tender, and you don't have to worry about that weird slurpy raw oyster that a lot of people are afraid of. So let's get into it. So we're looking at some shucking knives here, and you can see the one on the left is curved, and the one on the right is more straight. These are just two of the ones that you can get. And then to actually shuck our oyster, make sure your hand is protected that is holding the oyster. Cannot stress this enough, you can definitely stab yourself. Um, so practice safety first. And then you can see with the shucking knife, this is the curved one, I'm trying to find that hinge. So the oyster is actually upside down and I'm looking to find a little hinge on the end where I'm driving in the point of the shucking oyster. And we can see it in slow-mo here. So you can see in the first bit, I'm just trying to make sure my point is in the hinge. And then I'm kind of using like almost a screwdriver technique while pulling up to apply pressure. And then you can see the moment where it just kind of pops out. And then when that happens, you can just slide your shucking knife sideways in and then give it a twist to pop off the top of the oyster. And sometimes you'll have more trouble with some than others. Um, just depends on where they're from and also you know, the age of them. So just be aware of that when you're going to shuck. But then to actually serve it, you just want to slide out underneath to make sure you're connected from the shell before you just be over ice, um, over a tray. You know, you can splash it with lemon juice or just eat it raw like I did. Um, it's a nice salty flavor. The texture is definitely weird for a lot of people. I mean, even myself, I didn't really like them until a couple years ago. But now I really, really do enjoy them. All right, now that we've seen how to shuck them, Hopefully that was uh, informational enough and hopefully you guys try out to shuck some oysters. It's actually a pretty rewarding process. It can be a pain sometimes depending on, you know, if, the, if you get into the hinge or not, but it's definitely a fun skill to learn. Um, so now we're gonna be preparing the grilled oysters and first we're gonna start off with kind of the little dressing that we make for each one. So let's hop into that. So to start off, all we're gonna do is chop up some garlic and just put it into a fine mince. And then this is what we're also gonna do with some parsley as well. So here comes that parsley, and like I said, just a you know rough chop, and then get it pretty fine as you like it. But these are really gonna supply a lot of the flavor for this dressing, the garlic, the parsley, and then we're just gonna add some lemon juice, salt, and pepper. It's a really simple, simple little dressing marinade type thing, um, but really, really flavorful, and really, really takes these oysters to the next level. So here we're just putting in some salt and pepper. And then now we're gonna do the lemon juice. So this is a little nice trick to use if you don't have you know, a regular um, you know, citrus juicer or something like that. Um, a fork actually works really, really well. And all you wanna do is just kind of stick the tines into the lemon and, and twist uh, counterclockwise and then go through each por portion of the lemon and then just squeeze it at the end. You'll get a ton of juice out. Um, it's, you, know, you don't need to go out and buy a special you know, lemon juicer if you don't want to. So here you can see I'm just dressing each of these oysters that we shucked using the method that we saw earlier in the video. And basically we're gonna top these with butter, which add a nice little amount of creaminess to the oyster. And we're gonna put them on the grill. So the grill is at 350 to 400 degrees. And then after we get all our toppings on there, all we have to do is just close it for two to four minutes and then these should be cooked perfectly. So you can see right here, you're getting a little bit of bubble from that brine that's left inside after we shuck and that kind of cooks in that liquid. And nice sizzle on these. These are awesome, awesome treats. Hope you guys try them. They're wonderful, wonderful introduction into oysters, especially for people who may not like them because the grilling completely transforms the texture from that raw slimy business to a nice succulent piece of meat. As always, we run through nutrition and price. So 15 calories, zero grams of carbs, 0.2 grams of fat, and one gram of protein. 
and then the price is 170 with 150 of that being the oyster itself. So hope you guys enjoy this video and try getting oysters if you're on the coast sometime. I think you'll really enjoy them, this grilled way especially. Um, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one.